Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm going to take and show you all yet again, another variant that you can do with this style and technique. This is where we make a preform and then we flatten and spread that form out. Again, these videos are designed hopefully to inspire you and get you thinking about all the things that you can do with this type of information and hopefully you're finding it helpful and useful information. So we're gonna start with our 3 8 mild steel and we're gonna draw a taper on it. Now this is 10 mil for those of you that are across the pond or the rest of the world if you will. For metric. We're gonna draw that out. There's one heat so far. We're gonna go ahead and give that a little more heat because I want it to be a little thinner and narrower taper. So I hope you've been enjoying this little video series. I hope it's been inspiring you to get in your workshops and make something cool and interesting and start putting some of these elements together and figuring out what you could do with them. And uh, you know, I hope they will help enhance your iron mark. So, we're going to continue to get this nice and hot. We're almost there. One more taper on here. Good to go. And here we are. So now I'm just planishing this up. Now I'm gonna knock the corners off. You want this taper to be, well, it can be whatever you want. Again, this is art, so make the taper as long as you like. I like a nice long cylindrical taper. I find that about the perfect taper for me in my shop is when you're using 3 8 bar to be about four and a half inches long. That seems to be a pretty nice taper to me. So just to my eye, again, it could be disagreed upon, but that's good enough for me. So we'll heat this up and now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do the interesting bits to this. And this is the part where you can go ahead and start taking notes and I'm gonna go ahead and clip out here and come right back to you because I wanna be over the horn for this next operation. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to the horn here and we're gonna stick about an inch of this material, material over the edge of the horn and we're just gonna hammer it straight down against the horn. Now we don't wanna take and keep hammering on it, we just wanna go that far. We're gonna turn it a full 180 degrees, stick another inch of material over the horn and we're gonna hammer it back the opposite way. And then continue that same path right on up the bar. Now I'm gonna to have to take another heat on this to go any further. And if you notice, it's getting off to one side. The way we'll correct that is by coming back to that bend and hitting it over the horn a little more. Now again, you don't wanna mush this against the horn. We're not trying to flatten any direction. We're just trying to take and put in some curvature and keep everything nice and centered up. So, so far, this is what we have. So I will heat back up a little bit further and we'll go on with this demonstration. As I'm doing this here, here's a great time for me to go ahead and uh, welcome you to the channel and thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you to all of you old beans out there that have subscribed to me from the beginning. Uh, God bless you and thank you for being a part of the channel. If you would like to support what we do here at Christ Centered Ironworks and produce, help produce content and videos like this, a great way of you doing that is checking out our website over at blacksmithpds.com. It's a site that we've created specifically to take and help you in your blacksmithing endeavors with everything from business ebooks to power hammer digital downloads, things like that. Uh, and all that money that we get on that and the monthly support that we get from that goes into producing these videos and future content, making it better and better and better. So we greatly appreciate you on that. And I think this is hot enough 
for us to move on. Yep, good enough. Good enough. So we're gonna put out an inch there. Again, an inch. I went on the wrong side of it there. Again, we're just trying to get that cleaned up. And I don't like how that tip is facing the same direction, so I'll just put that tip back the opposite direction to where it's kind of straight up and down. So yeah, that's good enough for me. It's good enough for my likings. We're just trying to get the center line of these curves, if you will, I'm trying to find a spot on the horn here. We're trying to get the center line to run down through the center of the bar. This will help set us up for the next step. So I'll get this heated back up and then we'll be back to the face of the anvil. Okay, so we have this piece hot. We're gonna bring it out and just like in times prior, we are going to lay this on the flat and we're gonna flatten this piece out. You wanna aim extra blows into the corners to really get those to flare out and then not so much in between the elbows. And this is going to give us a bit of a wavy light design. And it may be necessary to go to the horn at some point and clean stuff up if it gets a little out of hand, if you need to bend it some more in one direction or another to clean up some areas that you may see, like I'm seeing now. That didn't get as tight as I would have liked it into that corner. That's okay. So here I'm just tapping this along, just trying to get it straightened up. And hopefully you guys can see the interesting detail that you got there. Now this can make a really interesting fire poker in, and it's a fairly strong end because most people pry with a fire poker. Now I would not suggest Making this out of 3 8 if you want to do a fire poker, I'd do half inch. It's a lot more substantial, and you don't have to spread it as much to get the same, same effect. So, again, you just want to come in and planish out any of your hammer marks, uh, the visible parts, so this way you just leave this really nice, clean, solid-looking forging. So that's really what we want to go for there. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you and gave you one more tool in your arsenal to take and do different ends and different finial ends that you can do like we just did that video there. I'll link up all these other videos that I have done in the description down below. And as always, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us and we will catch you on the next one. Have a great day.